Hey guys, Josh with Bain Tech. The Google Edition phones, the HTC and Galaxy S4 editions, have been released by Google and they're available at the Play Store. But if you don't want one of those devices or you can't get a hold of one but you still want some of those features, you can get some of those files. There's different files that are starting to come out now. You can get the wallpapers and you can also get now the camera. And I have the camera installed on my Galaxy S4. This is not the Google Edition. This is what was pre-released. So I'll have the APK file download link in the video description. So just click that, let it download, and once it's done downloading, go to your downloads folder, and this is what you're going to expect. Just kind of gives you the privacy of what the camera app's going to do. And hit install and let it do its thing. And I've never used the camera, so this is going to be a first hand experience. We'll see what it does. Pretty much going to have all of your normal features, but it's going to have that stock Google look. And you can either hit done or open. I can hit done so that way you can kind of see what the icon looks like. And you're going to get two identical looking cameras. So let's see which one opens up. First one was the stock. It says remember photo locations. Tag your photos and videos with locations where they are taken. Open the app. Other apps can access this information along with your saved images. I can hit yes because I'll use it here and there. So I got this uh, Cruiser Light plushie. We'll use it as our model for the day. Just see how the camera performs. It seems like it focused in really well without having to do the whole tap, but you can still do that if you want to. So it seems rather quick. Now the Galaxy S4 stock camera, you know, it's got that no lag. Um, it actually lags just a little bit more than what I'm used to. So let's see what else. Now if you hold down the screen, you're going to get some options. You're going to get exposure. You just kind of move it from left to right. Hold that again. You have more options. We got location, countdown timer, picture size, white balance. Just a lot of different lighting options. Come back down to go back over, and you can do the front camera. So it's pretty neat that you can just hold down the screen and get the options. Seems pretty quick. I'm curious about the picture size because this has a 13 megapixel camera and it still does that so that's really cool. Um, it adjusts to your camera megapixel size that's installed and as you know the Galaxy S4 has a 13 megapixel camera. You have scene, so you got party mode, sunset, none, night, and action. Action is probably going to be one of those kind of options for keeping blurs down. So photosphere tips. Keep the camera centered and move it around. Works best with a scene at least 30 feet away. So we don't have that option. This is definitely different. Align to start. And you kind of see these two little dots that you'll line up together. So that's kind of neat. Store location. Let's see, we got panoramic, I think, is what this is going to be. And all you got to do is move from left to right. So it came out okay, but you definitely got to keep it still. This is your video capture. Let's see what kind of options you get here. You got white balance. So I'm going to stick with auto settings. You got time lapse, and video quality. And we'll go up to 1080. Store location, 
front camera or flash mode. And if you want to go back to your camera, just hit that button. So that's a general overview of the Google Edition stock camera. It's definitely, I like the stock look, it's very minimal looking. Um, you don't get as many options as you do with the Galaxy S4's camera options, you know, all those crazy amount of stuff that you can do with the camera now. This is Josh of Tech. If you have any questions about the camera, let me know. Please subscribe to this channel. Follow me on the social networks. Until then, this is Josh of Tech. I'll see you in the next video.